Oh, it is just as always, me, the matter of you, Kiyoma. Oh, God, I'm finally getting the catchphrase right. What were we reviewing today? Ah, a numerical, we got rid of the numerical score on the last video, as you saw, as you know, bad exposition, sorry, I had to make the joke. Ah, we're technically, I just got the, I've been playing the Switch version of Sword Art Online, Gun Gale Online, and the... PS4 version. They both went on sale. I bought the Switch version a while ago. I got blazed through a lot of it. And the uh, PS4 version. Controls are basically similar to the same. I like the hunt and subquest things. I also like the fact that I'm not playing Kirito. Why the new Sword Art Online am I playing Kirito again? Although it is the Alakazation in the Underworld arc, I understand that's like the best arc in the Sword Art Online books I've read. Where Kirito isn't exactly a Mary Sue. <sighs> I like the fact that in Fatal Bullet Gun Gale Online, you have you used to create your own character. He's just, even though he's a silent protagonist, I don't care. Um, in multiple choice, it's great because there's just you're not Kirito. You're an OC. It's kind of like Dragon Ball Xenoverse, which I'll look at and probably talk about on its own video because that actually has a really good one segment in it. It's great. I'm not Kirito. Um, Kirito does interact with you and you have your own, your, your, your own, you're your own, create your own character and you're your own original character. And he's not just a viewpoint character. No, the, the story's basically a story around the original character from what I can see so far. And basically Kirito and um, a bunch of other characters just participate in it. I also like the fact that um, you guys are the second host original character which is your um, uh, companion model I don't know what you want to call it your Android your artificial the the U UE of that you have it's interesting how the leveling up system works um, how the numbers well the numbers like you have dexterity and intelligence and all the other stuff they they apply to different things I technically have a um, oh I, I've set mine to use like um, a handgun, automatic, and an AR. I don't use sniping that much or um, rocket launchers. I leave those to my other ones. I'm and a little bit of sword technique. So I'm a bit of the heavy up in front, and all my skills are set to be the heavy, the tank of the group. And I have all my other group basically have all the long range and do the long range. So I've set my AI companion that you get the AI. You, AI um, character you get, the character one you create, she's basically my healer. And the other two I have basically a long distance and another one that you usually get of the party that's, you know, that they're given throughout the story, I have as the sniper, the healer, and a second um, tank like me. That's my, my build. And that's technically what I, I run as in almost every rush. I love the subquest. You can use them to get a ton of money. I like the medal system, so like if you get, say, if you're really good and you get like five kills in a row, you'll get like a medal for something, and then you could turn in these medals to get some really cool armor, like the Integrity Knight armor, which I'm working towards, or some of these other ones that haven't come out yet, which are really cool. I like the customization features. There's a lot of really cool features in this one that are better than the um, one that was before that, um, the one that had Sword of Ryan Origins, you know, the, the, the one right before this one. Which was really good. Now I've played all the Sword Art Online games and I've enjoyed all of them, but I like this one the best so far because you're an original character. <sighs> now, this is the numerical number is out of the way. My best opinion is you need to buy this sucker on sale. And you need to buy the complete complete bullet edition, which has basically all the DLC on it, all the, everything is on it, so you don't have to pay much for it. I think when it goes on sale majorly, it can usually go for like $14 or so, $14 or $15, like on PSN, I remember buying mine on Switch for about the same price when it went on a sale, and Bandai Napco likes to put up their games on sale a lot, so this is a definitely buy it on sale game. It's been out a while, we'll probably go out sale again, seeing as we're still under Corona chance to wreck and everything around here, and statues are falling down, ha ha ha, just to make a reference, and all the blue states, so this is a good good game to shoot stuff up and blow up some enemies and all this other stuff 
to take your mind off things. It's a great shoot 'em up game. Even though it's a bit of RPG, and if you don't like playing as Kirito, this one's for you. Now with um, Alakization Arc or the Locust one, I don't know how you spell it, the Locust Flower, whatever that one is, the new one that's coming out, coming out soon. <sighs> that one looks fun because it looks like it's open world. So yeah, but. The ones I recommend playing the most, which I've gotten the fun out, which is for PS4, is definitely basically buy the refragmentation one, the one where we're basically the Sword Online and Ironcrad Arc one, skip Lost Song, buy the one after that, and buy Fatal Bullet. Those four are, the best, are, are fun. Fatal Bullet, in my opinion, is the, the better one of them all because you're not playing as Kirito. And. You actually have to think and how to build your party up correctly. They're not all whatever. It's fun and you need to use your own dang brain. You can't just go in there guns a blazing because some of these monsters will actually kill you really quick. Yeah, some of these bosses aren't exactly easy. Looking at the wandering unique monsters. But as I said before, this is a game. Good game for PS4. It's for PS4, Nintendo Switch, and probably the Expo. Those platforms is on, definitely buy it on sale game. This is your host, The Matter of Ear, signing off. Hope you enjoy. Oh, and if you want a good shooter up game, this is up for you. Also, it does not take up that much space on either your Switch or your PlayStation 4. Till then, this is your host, signing off.